In this episode I'll show you how you can create the vintage look on your footage. I will be editing on my phone but you can replicate the same technique on your desktop. A small disclaimer before we start, this video is sponsored by Filmora Go. You know that I always like to experiment with different applications for editing videos and this one is really nice, free and powerful. Now let's dive into the video. Everything I'm gonna show you in this video will be for free. The first thing is that we have to download a little bit of resources so we can achieve the vintage look. The first thing we have to search for is Light Leaks. So just go to Google and write download Light Leaks free and follow the first or the second link. The first link is a very fancy site VDAISY and you can find a lot of short clips for free, not only light leaks, you can find also some scratches and some noise. I download a lot of resources from that website and the quality is really decent. And the second thing what we'll need is to find a Super 8 footage. So just go to Google and write download free Super 8. And the first link is going to selfie.com. This is the preset I found. It's a free Super 8 film over a pack. So you can just write zero here and press add to cart, insert your real email until you get the download link. Let me show you how it looks. This is our Super 8 overlay. It's really beautiful. It will be perfect for what we're gonna do now. The next step is to transfer all the footage to the mobile phone. Here is the Filmora Go application. That's how it looks when you open it. It's very simple interface. You have one big button, new project. So just press it and we are ready to import our footage. The best thing about Filmora Go is that it's available for Android and iOS. Not all applications are available for both platforms and work the same, but this one is available, so you're lucky. Only some of the pro features are paid, but you can use the full application for free, which is amazing. Filmora Go is a single line editor and it's really easy to use. And my favorite feature is the mute button here because I don't want to go to all clips and mute them one by one. That was my biggest problem with the VN app that I don't have such a global button. Now I muted my clips and later when we add the music, everything would be perfect. Let me rearrange the clip. I want that one to be my first one, so I'll just click it and drag it in front. Perfect. Let's check the second one and I want that clip to be my second one. Just click, drag and we are perfect. Cutting and editing in that program is very straightforward. If you ever work with any video editor, it's exactly the same. So here, mark the place you want to start the video, split it, mark the video, split and delete. Now I'm going to arrange my video clips so they can fit one or two stories, that's 15 or 30 seconds and I'll speed up that part of the video not to bore you to death. I just cut the video exactly to 15 seconds but I would like some of the clips to be slowed down so we'll make it closer to 30 seconds so to Instagram stories. So just mark the video and find the speed. And now I want to be twice slower, 0.5, that's perfect. All my clips are shot in 60 frames per second so it's not a problem to slow down the footage. Usually you cannot slow down footage that it's not shot in slow motion but when you create vintage footage it's not a problem because the old camcorders some of them were recording in 16 or 18 frames per second so if you slow down a normal footage and it's a little bit choppy that will bring this vintage feeling even more. Now to achieve the fancy vintage look we have to do three things. First we have to play with the color grade. Second, we have to add some effects. Third, we have to add the Super 8 overlay. Oh, and I forgot, there is a fourth step. Let's add some sound design. That will bring the footage to the next level. So let's start with the color grading. So just come here, click adjust, and here are all your options. You have the brightness, the contrast, the temperature, the vignette, and the saturation. And my best slider is the clarity. I really like what the clarity does. So most of the time, okay, come back, I lost it. So most of the time what I will do is to increase the clarity and that will increase the sharpness of your footage. But because we are doing a vintage look, we can reduce the clarity and that will bring that uh, vintage vibe. One thing when you are color grading, we have to decide should we keep the digital sharp look and only apply the effects on top or we should try to emulate the old camcorders. The old cameras had horrible dynamic range. That means that your highlights would be overexposed and your shadows would be crushed. So here we have to increase the brightness till the highlight starts crushing. And after that we can increase the contrast so we crush the blacks. But I like more the digital look and to apply the effect so I will reset what I just did 
and I'll just reduce the contrast. So I want less contrasty look, a little bit flatter image and the brightness. I think I like the brightness on zero. Most of the vintage films are a little bit yellowish. Some of them are a little bit bluish. I want this video to be more to the yellowish. So we'll click the temperature and we'll just push it like just a little bit. If we push it too much, it's becoming really yellow. So here we're going to push it just like maximum to six, seven. Perfect. Because I have a subject in the whole video and it's in the center. If we add a little bit of vignette, we'll make the viewer to focus on the subject so we can just push the vignette. But this one is very aggressive vignette. So really a little bit, something like seven, just, just a tad, even five. Let's push the saturation up. I like it with more saturation. The best button here is that you can apply your color grade to all clips. Just click apply to all and voila, we have it. Now all clips have the same color grading. That's really easy busy. And it looks quite good on all of them. I don't have to go and uh, touch the individual clips. I really like it. Now we have to import the Super 8 footage and few more ago allows you to import videos over videos so you can have second layer picture in picture. So you just click peep and select the super eight overlay. We have to scale it up. So with two fingers, just drag it over the screen till it fits. Perfect. And here Filmora is really powerful because it allows you to change the blending options. The button is called blending. So mark the clip and press blending. So most of the time when you're doing some vintage stuff and you're adding layers on top, you're going to apply the screen blending. Here we have a black video and we want only the light parts to leave. So we have to come and find where is written screen. The screen gets rid of the blackness of your videos. So let's play it. Oh, it's so beautiful. Now that clip is really short. So we have to duplicate it to match the whole video. So let's mark the clip, copy, perfect, paste. And then click and drag it. And unfortunately we have to do it several times. I like how responsive is Filmora every single time it snaps and it gives really nice pleasant vibration on the phone. It feels really nice. Here I would like to add one more layer which will consist of noise and scratches. So let's just come again to peep, here press add and import the next video. I download those scratches from the site I showed you. And let's go again to the blending options. Let's go again to screen and see how does it look now. For this video it's because it's not black but it's white. I guess we have to go to darken or multiply. Let's see how it looks. Is there some scratches? Yes, you can see the black scratches. Oh, that's perfect. Do you see like there are a lot of small scratches that are jumping here and there. And now we just have to copy again the same effect and apply it to the rest of the video. Here, click. Do you remember that I recommended you to download some light leaks? The best part is that in Filmora Go, you have effects and you have access to not only light leaks, but also some cool, really, really cool effects. Now let's go to the effects tab. You don't have to import any video. So just find the place where we want to add a light leak, maybe for a transition, maybe here between the two clips. So we just go to effects and here on the bottom, you can find a lot of variations of light leaks. Let's try that one. Oh, that's perfect. It looks so magical. I really love it. It's so vintage look. Let's try it. Looks awesome. Do you see the scratches, how they're jumping on the screen? Really cool. The best part with those effects is that I can precisely choose the time I need to continue. I can extend it or I can squeeze it. Let's choose some other effects Filmora has to offer. How that one looks. Oh, this one looks really cool. If you click on the effect, you can see a preview. I really don't like the fisheye and the split screen, but for some videos that can look epic. In that case, it looks really cool actually. I'll just apply the first effect. It's called chromatic something. And then I'll shorten it a bit. The next step is to add the sound design. And here again, Filmora is amazing because it has integrated sound design in the application. So we just come here, find the music icon, click effects and let's check some different sounds. 
success. I think we can add the rewind sign on the chroma effect. Let's try it how it will sound. Let's add the sound here. The chroma starts somewhere here. And reduce the volume. Oh, we have fade. That's really cool. We can fade the beginning and fade the end. That's perfect. And we push it to something like 37. The next thing is to add a song to our video. Just click here, music. Uh, Fumoro Go allows you to import music from your iTunes. Unfortunately, I don't use iTunes with my iPhone. I don't listen music to my phone. I have all my MP3 files imported to my files, but unfortunately, Fumoro Go doesn't see in the file structure and I cannot import my music. So we have to use their music. They have a lot of songs from which you can choose. Unfortunately, for YouTube reasons, I don't want to use those songs. So now I'll show you a hack how you can do it. Instead of importing your song, you can use the record button, play the song on your computer and record it. That's how we're gonna do it. Oh, you have to hold your finger. Let's start again. The video is mostly ready. There is one more cool feature I want to show you with a few more. They have amazing stickers. I'm so excited about the stickers because they're animated. So here you can go to stickers. You can add stickers. You can choose from their library. I already pre-downloaded some of them. Let me find the one I downloaded. They were really cool stickers. Hmm, I like the laugh one. Perfect. So let's go here to export. We select the maximum quality, 1080. One thing I feel disappointed with few more ago is that I cannot export 4K. Most probably they'll introduce it with the future updates, but guys, please, 4K. Yeah, I'm a YouTuber. If I edit a YouTube video on your application, I need to have 4K. I know that for social media, for Instagram or something like that, I need only 1080, but for YouTube and other stuff, 4K. So continue to the export, and here is the end result we managed to create with few more. As you can see, few more ago is quite powerful, small video editing application. There's some features missing, like for example, the chroma key functionality. But if you don't need to do something really complicated, if you have to edit your Instagram stories, add some cool stickers and animation and animate the text, this application is perfect for that. Now, don't forget to smile. If you enjoyed the video, destroy the like button. If you didn't enjoy the video, destroy the dislike button. Don't forget to subscribe and see you in the next video.